from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. It's getting easier to get a COVID-19 vaccination in Henrico. We'll give you the details coming up on today's Henrico News Minute. It's Thursday, May 6, 2021. It's brought to you today by Henrico County. And now for the news. If you haven't gotten your COVID-19 vaccination yet, Henrico is making it a little easier for you. The county will hold multiple walk-up vaccination events through the rest of this month. They'll all be open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Richmond Raceway, and all will offer the Pfizer vaccine. You can find the walk-up events Tuesday and Wednesday next week, May 11th and 12th, Wednesday and Thursday, May 19th and 20th, and Wednesday, May 26th, and Thursday, May 27th. Anyone 16 or older who lives in Henrico or Richmond is eligible to attend the event and be vaccinated without any appointments. If you are going to one of the two events next week, enter through Gate 4 at the Raceway. Otherwise, you should enter at Gate 7 for the other four events. County officials also announced that May 27th will be the final day for mass vaccination events at the Raceway. The county has administered more than 150,000 doses of the COVID vaccines at the Raceway. More than 48% of the county's residents have now received at least one dose, and almost 35% are fully vaccinated. Speaking of the vaccine, Virginia colleges and universities will be permitted to mandate that students returning in the fall have taken the vaccine, That's according to Attorney General Mark Herring. He said that about a week or so ago. School leaders had questioned the legality of mandating the vaccine because it's currently authorized only for emergency use. That means people must be given the choice to take it and be informed of the consequences if they don't. Currently, Virginia colleges request documentation that students were vaccinated against several illnesses, including diphtheria, tetanus, and mumps. You can read more about this topic at HenricoCitizen.com by clicking on News and then Government. Henrico Police yesterday announced the name of the woman killed in a shooting Tuesday night outside the Extended Stay America Hotel in the near West End. She was 37-year-old Ashley Nicole Tolliver. Police did not say where she lived. They're seeking Kevin K. Mitchell in connection with the shooting. He's described as a 5'7", 170-pound black man with a tattoo on his neck that reads, Niasia. If you know anything, call Henrico Police at 501-5000 or Metro Richmond Crime Stoppers at 780-1000. You can also leave tips anonymously at p3tips.com. That's part of the Crime Stoppers Network. A reminder that events are happening in a lot of spots around Henrico and elsewhere. We've got covered. If you want to find out what's going on, you can visit HenricoCitizen.com and click on Calendar. We'll show you all of the Henrico events that we have in our system, as well as a bunch of regional events also. Today's Henrico News Minute is brought to you by Henrico County, which is asking you, how do you want to hear from the county? Visit publicinput.com backslash Henrico News to take a brief survey.